What you up to now, day 1738? Sharon Horn Helson here with my big bag of cough drops, my double whammy tea with lemon, and feeling a little bit under the weather. But guess what? We still show up. I threw in a ponytail because I was watching my granddaughter this morning and I just worn out. Actually took a quick COVID test, came back negative, so thought I might have COVID, but maybe not. Just take another test in a day or so. I guess they're not always 100% accurate for the at-home quick tests, but... I just want to make sure because I'm around my family a lot. So today for the SOAP framework, which it, we're going over the SOAP framework in our annual challenge, the BU 365 Day Challenge, do one thing every day that improves us. And today we're on the A, which stands for action. But in order to decide what to act on, we first need to do the urine analysis. This is one of my favorite uh, decision-making tools besides the plus and minus or the head, heart, and intuition. I love this tool because it allows me to analyze a lot of times subjective things that aren't comparing apple to apples to help me decide what action to take first because the whole purpose of the soap framework and the challenge is to do something every day that moves us in the direction we want our life to go so we're solving a problem this week and i picked uh implementation of a new software program it's a big software program that i use for all my businesses and i use with a lot of my customers and clients and so we need to all update to the new version of this software and it's going to be a great improvement but it's also a lot of work if you've ever done a, a software upgrade for a business any business you know what exactly what i'm talking about i remember some in corporate america that took us like two three years to make these software changes and implementations and it's not a small project so i like to use the year anal analysis which stands for urgent resources important necessary and energy or effort required to to give myself a way of comparing different alternatives, different options, different things I could do to decide what can I do right now? What can I do really fast to start moving me in the direction I want to go? So we talked about that today for the SOAP framework. Tomorrow we'll talk about the P, which stands for progress, in case you haven't been uh, with me for this before. Uh, for Supersize Your Business for Female Entrepreneurs, our idiom today was to break every rule in the book. Now, I tend to be a rule bender. I try not to, I don't break any laws or anything, but I do push the envelope when something is subject to interpretation. I learned from my dad early on in my career that it's better to ask permission, or excuse me, I'm saying that all wrong. It's better to ask for forgiveness than to ask for permission. A lot of times, and I found this to be true in both my corporate career as well as my businesses, uh, the bigger the the bureaucracy, the bigger the organization, the harder it is to get anything done because everything has to go through not just one committee or one team, but usually dozens of teams before anything can be acted on. And it can be killed anywhere along that path, anywhere along the way. And so I always made sure that I was confident that the thing I was pushing the envelope on was going to work out for the benefit of the company. But um, and never, never lost my job or got in trouble or anything for, for doing that, uh, because somebody's got to take risks, but they have to be risks that are weighed with you no know, responsibility. If if any of them had ever blown up, it would have been my responsibility and my job, and I would have had to deal with the consequences of that. And I forgot, I didn't even talk about this in Supersize Your Business, but it was interesting. Part of my research led to the six reasons people commit crimes or break the rules or break the law. And they were, this is an interesting list, lust, anger, greed, revenge, excitement, or ego. I thought that was an interesting list. I'll have to think about that. Is that why I want to break the rules sometimes? <laughs> yes. Or speed, right? And I guess that's ego because I want to get things done fast. I don't think lust anger or greed. I think excitement definitely enters into my equation. But I thought that was an interesting list of reasons that people break the rules. Also, the thing about breaking the rules and bending the rules is it allows us to see things from different perspectives and to do things that have never been done before. And entrepreneurs are great at that. Uh, and people that have their own businesses are great at that because you get to create the rules and guess what? We all get to create the rules for our own life. We make up and get to make up and rig life in our own favor by setting up the rules and the habits and the ways of thinking that are in our favor. Now, I say we can do whatever we want and we can have whatever we want as long as it doesn't hurt other people. That's that's my take on uh, we can create whatever we want. So 
I'm going to go nurse my cold because I think it's a cold and enjoy my tea and relax. I might even take a nap this afternoon, which is totally out of character for me. If I can help you anyway, ask. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow.